We can't get enough of movies, music, navigation, shopping, and social sharing on our phones and tablets. And businesses are all about using wireless and cloud technologies to sweeten their bottom line. So the amount of data we use is exploding. Traffic on AT&T's network has increased more than 150,000% in just eight years. Decades ago, engineers designed telecom networks to carry voice traffic, but data, specifically video, is now the largest source of traffic on our network. We expect video usage to double by 2017. Carriers have traditionally built massive central offices packed with row upon row of specialized, complex switches, routers, and other hardware. Even as we moved from a world of voice calls to smartphones, the hardware that made it all work remained cumbersome, complex, and slow to evolve. We knew there had to be a better way. We have seen the capabilities of music players, TVs, cameras, and computers move to cloud-based apps. Likewise, we're using standard off-the-shelf hardware and moving the work of our network from that bulky, expensive hardware onto software. Say a retail chain has a sale and their data usage spikes. They can use our network on demand platform to get more bandwidth in nearly real time. They can dial it back when the sale ends. More than 500 of our business customers are doing this now. We're already virtualizing the mobile packet core, the heart of our wireless network. Now more than 14 million of our wireless customers are on the software-centric network. That lets us offer new capabilities faster. Things like connected cars, smartwatches, homes with digital automation and security, and more than 75% of our network will be software-centric by 2020. Get ready. The software-centric network is the future of communications, and it's nearly here.